Hey guys, Sian here. Welcome back to another video. I have some exciting news concerning iOS 13 and watchOS 6. So with all that said, let's get into the video. So according to this article from Bloomsburg and 9 to 5 Mac, iOS 13 will be having some changes relating to apps too. We already know that, but they go more in depth. One of the apps that will be redesigned is the Reminders application, both on iOS and on macOS. The new Reminders application will have a grid layout for showing you to-do tasks and schedule tasks and flag tasks. Another app is the Health app. The Health app will be getting a new screen that shows users a daily report of their health. That sounds like a good idea. I don't use the Health app on a regular basis, but I'm sure that a lot of people who do will appreciate this new tab that will be added. The report then goes on talking about how the dark mode will be coming to iOS 13. We already know that the dark mode will be a black and gray, black for OLED displays and gray for LCD displays. Screen time will also be getting some advancements as well. For example, we will now be able to set restrictions for specific contacts instead of just shutting the whole entire OS down for everyone. You'll be able to set a specific time for when you want people to receive and send messages and more. WatchOS 6 will be getting a built-in calculator, an audiobook reader, and an app store so that way you can download applications to the Apple Watch. Now I have a question. Apple has a calculator on the iPhone. If they can bring it to the Apple Watch, can someone please tell me why can't they bring it to the iPad? I hate having to go to my iPhone to use a calculator. It's annoying. I hate having to leave my document to use Siri. Why is it not possible for me to just open a calculator in split view and just type on my document at the same time while making other calculations. Why does it have to be that hard? Why should I have to download a third party app from the app store? And yes, it is a big deal. We've been asking for a calculator for the iPad for a very long time. Apple has ported this application onto the iPhone and we still haven't seen it on the iPad yet. We've been getting rumors saying that calculator will be coming to the iPad and it never came. Apple, it's been long enough. We need a calculator on the iPad. And for the record, I don't think anyone is going to want to raise the risk just to make a quick calculation. You use your iPad for productivity. You use your phone to make a call and watch YouTube video, go on Instagram, go on Twitter. You use your Apple Watch to track your health. Why would anyone want to raise their wrist to punch in some numbers and hit the plus, minus, divide, or add sign, followed by some more numbers and the equal sign? That's stupid. Some other changes that are coming to iOS 13 are redesigned health app and some performance improvements, just like in iOS 12. Except this time, iOS 13 will not just be a performance-based software update. It will be chocked full of features. What features do you guys want to see in iOS 13? Let me know down in the comment section below and I will see you guys in my next video. One more thing. We're going to have the ability to block emails from certain contacts. Okay, now roll the end card. I'm sorry, one more thing, I swear. I don't know how I keep missing this. In iOS 13, do not disturb screen time and the bedtime feature inside of the clock app will be linked together. I'm going to explain why I said that. When you enable bedtime, your iPhone will dim the lock screen as in turn it into a dark mode version of what you already have and mute all notifications. See what I mean? If I missed anything else, there's always a link down below in the description. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know the like and or dislike. I can care less what you guys do. If you guys enjoy the content that you see on this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the next video. I've been Tian Official. See you guys next time.